Hello, can everyone hear us? Hello, everybody. Everybody. Hello. Hey. Good evening. Can people hear us? I, I have a yo. Does that <laughs> does that mean? Oh, well, no, Gamma's back. Yay! Yay! Yay. Oh. Hey, everyone in the chat. Gotta always always love it. No, Gamma always sends us greetings from Germany. <laughs> Good Abend to <laughs> Germany. I guess it is. And we can hear. Cool. All right, we're live. Uh, welcome awesome. to Hecate's Dungeon Gaiden, Alex's Acropolis, for the third episode. Uh, in the, I keep forgetting what the forest is called, even though it's like the, a really <laughs> obvious name. <laughs> the Vale of Sadness. Vale of Sadness. sadness. Vale of sadness. That's yeah. it. I knew it was the something of sadness, and mm -hmm. it was like. The forest of sadness? No, it's not the forest of sadness. Is it the forest of something else? You've been it's infected by your sadness. We never ending story now. <laughs> All right. Indeed. Uh, wow. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're we're in the Vale of Sadness. So I'm going to hand over to our dungeon master, Alex. Okay. So welcome back to Terravingia. Um And I'd like to start out by apologising for my really bad throat last week. Hopefully, my voice will be a little bit better <laughs> today. So, um, if we can switch over to the actual um, visual of the Aye. map. Hey. Great. So yes, welcome uh, to Taravindia, where our heroes have departed from Fenshold, this large trading town near the coast, and headed west into the forest, known as the Vale of Sadness, a little pocket of the Bracken Sea that uh, nobody tends to go into, because the people who go in don't tend to come out. The party have been tasked with chasing after a fugitive, one Razzle, a thief known for using illusions, who escaped from the magical prison in Fenshold and has made her way into the Vale of Sadness with a vital piece of the stone keep where she escaped. The lock stone. She has left the, the stone keep all locked down. The guards are trapped inside with no food. So the party have been tasked with finding her, finding the lock stone, and getting back to Fenshold to set the guards free. At the end of last time, and I'll switch us over to the other map, the players had just encountered a large mass of plant matter. Brand uh, yes. Siegbert. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, decided... it's the great suggestion of, well, it's a tree, why don't you set it on fire? <laughs> <laughs> yep. And now it's angry. At it. Indeed. Bam, there it is. Whoa. Oh my god, Whoa. it's a Malboro. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the most viable oh creatures. So we are starting oh no. with initiative. Initiative. All right. Oh, oh god, we're right. starting off on quick today. Indeed. All right. Aha. Aha. Well, I Finally, checked my word. Initiative it's not the there first. Uh, wow. <laughs> Three of us rolled 17. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. We are nothing if not convinced. is the arc number. 17 clubs. Uh, okay, so that means that Shrug <coughs> should go first. Um, me and Kate are just tied up. I guess we have to roll off or something? Uh, well, I've got the lowest uh, dexterity, so I don't know. That's kind of my house rule when I have people who have tied initiative. I just go in. Your dexterity dex is equal order. to <laughs> Really? Yeah, wow. Yeah, we have one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do a quick roll-off. Just roll a d20 each. Alright. Okay, yeah, that's d20. Oh, that's a d12. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Oh! D yeah, oh. D you, you go Great first. start already. <laughs> Double roll. Right, okay, so... Yes. Huh. Great. Alright. Alright. Bam. Yeah. So then... Go. Yes, I need to roll for this mound. Wonderful. Um, and that is a natural one on initiative for... <laughs> the massive plants that you're fighting against. I guess we uh, did just kind of like wake it up from its slumber with fire, which is pretty yeah, unpleasant. Yeah, it, it's groggy yeah. and like, I mean, I, w I would be depressed if I was slower than a big plant monster. Like. <laughs> <laughs> we have two people that are and already depressed, so... Oh, yeah. Since it has minus one dex, it actually rolled a zero on initiative, so... <laughs> yeah. Alright. So yes, Brand, you just lobbed this fireball to this thing, and immediately reacted, kind of turned over, 
and um, began shifting towards you. It looks like it's trying to attack. As it turns over, you see there is appears to be a leg and an arm sticking out of this thing of someone oh, who's still alive and struggling. Oh, oh shit! Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, oh boy. So, Lauren, can you also roll initiative, please? Yep. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Go on, Lauren. Hey! 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 That's pretty hey. good. So, let me just go up here. Um, cool. Guess this is what you would call going back to your roots. Uh, <laughs> oh. uh. <laughs> I will never do that again, I promise. <laughs> I, I, I admire it and I welcome it. <laughs> please do it more. Yeah. Don't make any promises you can't yes. keep. <laughs> okay, I will never so promise begin... not to make puns. <laughs> yes. So we, be <clears throat> we begin with Auric. All right. Um, All right, bird your, boy. your stats seem uh, a little low. What, what type of halfling are you playing? Just normal halfling. I mean, we were doing with the um, like the normal build one with the normal stats. Okay. Women. Yeah. Are you are you light foot or um no. light foot or stout? I I don't know. <laughs> I don't oh know. No. Did you did you forget to apply a subclass to your halfling? I think I did. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, guess what? Your stats are better. <laughs> hey, guess what? You're uh. Yeah, um, <laughs> you're a light you, foot. You need, you need to pick because stout halflings get an extra plus one to constitution and light. Foots get a plus one to charisma. I'll, uh, I'll go with Lightfoot since it's the only one I can see in the compendium. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good Lightfoot's better okay. for your class anyway. Okay, so one plus one on charisma. And okay. you also get to be. Seven. Yeah, okay, he can be next to himself. Did, did you add your plus two to your dex? Um, you also get that as a halfling, yeah. I think I did, yeah. Uh, right, because you should have 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 8. I see 15. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. That yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. We did it. Wow. Sorry, guys. That's look wrong. <laughs> like. Cool. All right, there we go. Uh, there we being go. stupid. Does this thing have any obvious points at which to shoot an arrow? No, it just looks like a mass of random um, wood, basically. Okay. Um, yeah. Sorry to take up I mean, time. It looks like I, it's probably best not to shoot an arrow into the bit with a struggling person inside it. I, that, that, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> yep. I need to ask a question uh, to the GM real quick. So mm, hold on a sec. Ahead. Sorry, guys. Hello. Secrets. Oh. Uh huh. We don't have any sponsors we can like plug while we're doing this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or any merch we can shill. We need to make yeah. some merch. I to start, uh, go buy some t-shirts on geekandsundry.com, guys. Yeah, go, 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 go over to the Dungeon Masters Guild and buy a copy of the Spellbinder. It's a D and D class that I made. It only costs two American dollars. And we're still working uh, on fixing I, it up. Yeah, we need to rebalance it. I'm aware of some balance issues, uh, but. I've just been having a busy time with the new job and stuff lately, so uh, hope to fix that soon. If you have any feedback on the Spellbinder in the meantime, I'm really interested to hear feedback, especially if you've tried to make it in a game, because uh, that, that, that's one of the problems when building a class, like unlike Wizards of the Coast, I don't have like thousands of people to playtest my builds, uh, and yeah. I tend to be a bit generous because I'm not a power player myself. This is what happens players. when you get a bunch of people that are more focused focused on making cool characters than actual like optimized people in a room. Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> a um, problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Auric is a little freaked out uh, at the uh, at the shambling massive plant. He's gonna go back here behind this tree. Whoop. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> um. And let's see. I need to... <coughs> Alright, so I'm going to assume I need to roll this first. Yep, go for it. Um, we just agreed that uh, Shrug's going to roll a d20 for yeah, something I'm you, don't, you guys don't know about. Yay! Secrets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dang it, I have a... 
Uh, Should I roll it with this skill? Here, no, I'm... no, unskilled. Okay. Uh -oh. Cool. Yep. Um, I'll cool. just roll something I have a zero bonus in. Sure. Okay. By the way, to the people watching at home, I'm sorry about the crap quality oh, of this map. Neat. This is a map that I used for my um, weekday um, campaign. Heard yep, it. okay, Use great. So, okay. yes, it yeah. works as intended. Cool. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, well, yep. So, <laughs> none of you noticed Auric apparently doing something very secretive that just damaged this plant. Wait, um, what? So, yeah, did? You, you suddenly what? see a patch Sorry. of black rot appear on the um, plant as, yeah, it appears to take some kind of damage suddenly. It you... It, it takes damage from that roll? <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't know what's yeah. going on. Uh, uh, yeah. With secrets. I have a feeling now, secrets all of a sudden, it. and the word rot's what tipping <laughs> is what's kind of tipping me off. Huh. Oh. Oof. Well then. Possibly. Yep. Can I, can I like, do an arcana check? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Sure, go for it. Let's let's see what the heck is going on here. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> you don't know. This yes. thing just spontaneously like decayed in front of you. Yeah, it's strange. Great. My secret <laughs> remains safe for another day. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, unless you have any bonus actions or anything, we will be on to Brown. I don't. Uh, okay. Well, no <laughs> secretive bird stuff. Friggin, he just couldn't understand what's going on. No one's been understanding what, or no one quite figured out what happened earlier on either. Uh, today kind of sucks, but you know, just he has to do something, he guesses. And oh, yeah, you're suffering sadness, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, like, the sadness kind of counteracts the mania, and so he just kind of half heartedly flings this out. Okay, it does hit. Um, That's I would tell you as you do this. You were aware that your first firebolt, the start of this combat, it just fizzled out on this thing. It didn't oh, set heavily. it into flame yeah, or anything. It half damage. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, the, the, the other problem is the only things that he have are fire based. <laughs> for for I see. terms of doing damage, unless he's just going to chuck his dagger at it. <laughs> well, ah, die. Stump, stump, stump. You scorch it a little bit. Um, it, it, yeah, it's. The fire immediately goes out. This is very wet plant matter. <laughs> he looks sort of irritated, but he figures, well, you know, it's not like he could have done any more, so he's just gonna go sulk by this tree. Okay. Great. Commence sulking. Roll oh, for sulking. Great. Nice. So <laughs> on to tell. Tell. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, um, you know, tell's kind of uh, revealed to everyone that she can use magic. So you know what? She's just. Just gonna crack her knuckles and point at it and just sort of go over there please and cast a, a uh, sorry I'm just looking there it is sacred flame Ooh, okay okay it needs to roll a DC 13 dex save okay because um, you know it's, um. it doesn't take as much damage from uh, normal fire, but this is holy fire. It totally failed, and so it will take um, that radiant damage. Sweet. However, Ooh. I also want you to roll a wisdom check to see if you could avoid um, the person who is inside the mound at this point, or was oh, this person hit with funny. sacred fire? Oh no, uh, right, wisdom, wisdom. Uh, just a straight wisdom? Yep, straight wisdom. Straight wisdom. Uh, where we, where do I go for just, just unskilled... Oh, that's right, I click on wisdom. Click for stats. Yeah, okay, oh, nice. yep. You were yeah. a total pro. It was awesome. Yeah. Was perfect display <laughs> of very targeted wise. sacred flame. You don't even need to be an evocation wizard. <laughs> uh, Tell gives a little nod up towards the heavens. Uh, uh, and I don't think I have any bonus actions that I want to spend right now. Uh, everyone's hiding behind the trees! <laughs> and I'm up front tanking, and I'm not very Such a brave healthy party. right now. Uh, so I'm just... I'm gonna stand my ground, but seriously! 
Seriously, guys, help! <laughs> Brand's depressed and also squishy as hell. Everyone else is sad. <laughs> is it <an> excuse? <laughs> Everyone else. Is Mark's depressed. actually not sad. He, he just got freaked just out. An idiot. He's gonna be better next time. David is very depressed. <laughs> He's trying best. I just like how depressed we all are. <laughs> So, okay, by the way, who has one point of sadness and who has two points of sadness? I have one. I have two points. Uh, Digger has two points. So, yeah. for those people watching at home who have um, just joined us for the first time today, mm -hmm. when you're in the Veil of Sadness, the longer you spend in there, the more wisdom saving throws you have to make. And if you fail them, each time you fail, you take a point of sadness. Somebody with one point of sadness um, has their movement reduced by five feet. Someone with two points of sadness, like Diggard, takes one point of psychic damage each time they make an attack or a spell action. And we don't know yet what happens when so you take three points of sadness, so hopefully Diggard avoids that. Tell, for the see. record, has no points of sadness because she made all of the wisdom saves. <laughs> so did Auric. <laughs> her, scabs, her scabs make her immune <laughs> to sadness. Oh, yes. the, be scarf. the best magic <laughs> item, Scarf of Joy. It, it, it's funny this because Kel has had the worst day out of everyone so far. <laughs> she has been impaled by so many things. <laughs> oh, oh so, okay, is that the end of your turn, Kate? Yes. Okay, so we're on to the mysterious person trapped inside this shambling mound. Lauren, could you make a strength saving throw, please? Yes. Uh, it's my saving throws. Uh, and I'm going to give you advantage, because this thing has just been blasted with sacred flame. Uh, so, you, you oh, see where your saving throws are listed? You just click on the word. Oh. Yeah. And, no, unfortunately, it's not good oh. enough. This... Um, person trapped in the mound is struggling against the vines and like tangled roots but just can't get free still stuck in there well oh. yep did my best All right. so, okay that brings us to digger right. well digger is still experiencing very large amount of depression and after <laughs> seeing that there's someone apparently trapped in this moving rotting pile he gets a small burst of courage and like, I need to save them, it must be done. And so he gets his longbow ready and takes a shot, hoping not to aim for the foot sticking out. Okay, go for it. That Ooh. definitely hits. Ooh. Cool. So yep, that is indeed um, five piercing damage. Yep. To the mound. Ooh. Your arrow penetrates deep into the heart of this thing, and um, it reacts, it kind of... You actually hear a squeal coming from inside it as your arrow sinks into it. Which is very unnerving. Ooh. Yeah. And luckily that was a good that enough shot like that it didn't times hit. worse from actually inside it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It must, like, resonate through your bones. Ooh. It's echoing. Yeah, you are really right. freaked out right now. I mean... You don't even know what's going on. You've, you've hear, you're hearing burning sounds, all sorts. It's, it's just not been a good yeah. day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so okay, does okay. Digger have anything else to do on this turn? Um, he's probably going to move a little bit forward uh, to make oh. sure, like that tail doesn't get <laughs> any more hurt because she's obviously in a lot of pain. Yep. Oh wait, doesn't he also take one amount of temporary hit points because of psychic damage? He does damage? indeed. I'll take yeah. that off you now. So yeah. Okay. Yep. Hooray, damage. Do you really have just 12 HP? Oh god. Yes. Oh, oh wait, really? Cool. Too. Hang on, wait. You're like a level I mean, 2 now, right? Yes. Ranger, Ranger. Ranger. Wait. Eight. You should have more than that. Well, that yeah. yeah, doesn't surely. sound right. Ranger's a D10, so at first so one level... So 1D10 plus 2, and then 6 plus 2, you should have a... So, what's your constitution modifier? 20. Uh, yeah, constitution hmm? is... modifier is 2. Yeah, you should have so 20 So you HP. should have, yeah, 20 HP. Hey! Oh. Didn't so realize that. Yeah, because yeah, you leveled up. Those up. So, Things are a little better uh, than you so thought. You, so you're currently on 16 out of 20. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Oh, that's healthier. <laughs> yep, that's probably that's well for our ranger, actually. <laughs> yeah. Also, something to look forward to. When we finish this combat, I also want people to roll on the random items table, because we haven't done that yet. Ooh, oh, yeah. yes. Ooh, Ooh, that yeah, do that on stream. Yeah. So, yeah. so is that all for Diggard? Uh, yeah, that should be all for him. 
We'll, we'll hit the monster and it'll explode like a piñata of useless items. <laughs> like Borderlands <laughs> okay. 2 style. Sweet. Okay, so, um, this weird mound of plant matter is going to shuffle forward. Straight forward. Oh, oh it's shambling. Ooh. It's oh, shambling. <laughs> it is indeed a mound that is shambling towards you. Um, yes, it is. It is. <laughs> what is this mound which shambles, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> and having seen Digger's... It's a um, boulder, obviously. <laughs> yes, clearly. It's trees, perhaps. What do we expect? It's cobbled. <laughs> So, Diggard, as you it's shot at it, it's going to make two attacks towards you, these big vine-like um, arms um, with bits of random branch sticking out of them make attacks against you. Um, that is not too great. That is going to be um, a 12 and a 10 to hit. Uh, nope, they both fail. Awesome. So you, yeah. Yeah, you nimbly um, dodge out of the way of these crashing vine limbs that smash down around you. It looks like they would have hurt quite badly had they hit you. Ooh. Oof. Yeah, and that's all the mound has got in it. So that brings us back to Auric. Alright, right. Auric seems bolstered by something. Not not quite as freaked <laughs> out by this thing. Uh, especially now that he sees that arrows are effective. So... Ka <laughs> ka. <laughs> Okay, yep, yeah, you just managed to hit this thing. You tried to aim at kind of the same area that Digger did, but as this thing is constantly shifting and moving around, you just, like, clipped it um, on its periphery. But the arrow did sink in and apparently do some pretty good damage. All right. So, yeah. Uh, it reels from your arrow. All right. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it for me, I guess. Cool. So, okay, that brings us straight on to Brand. Uh, Brand grits his teeth. He figures, well, he could try burning it some more, but it's already gotten pretty close to everyone else, so might as well join the fray. Uh, fire yeah. isn't effective, but steel should be. Oh, okay, oh, wow, no, nice. You should, yeah. No, wizard, get out of combat! You're too squishy! <laughs> oh my it god! Is. <laughs> wizard is pissed! <laughs> that was a uh, pretty awesome hit. Um, <laughs> so, hold on. So that should like be nerd double. Rage. So that's when our wizard gave up wizardry to become a daggerist. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to become an arcane trickster. So okay. this is actually 10 damage, right? Um, It's a... Uh, it's, uh, I think it's actually just... Uh, um, D4 plus one. D4. You rolled a oh, four and a D4 damage, yeah. Um, so it actually should be seven damage. I forgot to modify the crit how it rolls. How would that be seven? Because uh, you, you rolled a four. Up. So that should be doubled to eight, then plus your dex uh, and uh, proficiency. Oh no, that's not how it's... Oh, sorry. No, oh, no you, roll, you roll a D4 twice. That's how it works. Yeah. yeah. So the the double damage thing is uh, the third edition. Yeah. Okay. So um, in that yeah, case, that's, so seven uh, damage this thing. How, how do you yeah, not you have... manage to slash deep into this thing and oh, wait, no, a whole six. section oh, of it just actually. Where is your proficiency off. bonus? Uh, proficiency bonus is in the roll itself, not the. Okay, that's damage. not damage. Sorry, I forget. Yeah, it's not damage. Okay. I was being stupid. Well. Uh, also, it's actually six. I remembered how it works now. I remember. It's a D four, uh, and if it's a critical, it's an extra D four. And then it's plus yeah. your dexterity. Ah. Okay, cool. Okay. So yeah, um, so yeah, you just carve off a whole um, section of this thing, and you see more of the person struggling inside. You hit this so effectively that I'm going to let you make a wisdom saving throw against your sadness. All right, let's do this, darkest come dungeon coup. Come on, you oh, can boy. do this. You are cheered up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Your confidence you is restored. <laughs> Heck yeah. Bolstered by the yeah. fact that I just shanked a giant eldritch something. <laughs> Close combat wizard, no better. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the comment. Theoretically, I actually could do this. <laughs> it's okay. Brand, unless you have anything else to do, it's on to tell. Uh, yep, go on. Okay, 
In that case, Tell is on you. Okay, Tell's got her buddies. Um, well, the uh, let's see. So I think. Oh, actually, now uh, I don't think. No, it's not a ranged spell attack, is it, for Sacred Flame? So I won't take attack of opportunity or have. Well, I can't have disadvantage because um. it's a saving throw. It, it's when you roll, yeah, if you roll yeah, a ranged it's not spell a range attack. attack. Go, yeah. So yeah. since it was so effective last time, I'm going to Sacred Flame again. Uh, Go for it. Bring it down. Okay, uh, so it has to make its dex saving throw. Um, that is going to be a six, which fails completely. Yeah. So yes, it, ind- it takes another seven points of radiant damage. Cool. So yes, this yeah. thing is bathed in uh, flame. Yeah, this white flame bursts down from the heavens through the thick tree canopy of the Veil of Sadness. Just engulfs this thing. Um, once again, make a wisdom check to make sure you don't hit <clears throat> the person oh, yeah. inside as well. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting used to this new sheet. As well as getting and... used to this thing as a player for a change. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 16. So yes, it's again a perfect display of a targeted sacred flame. It actually spit, uh, splits to go left and right of the person struggling inside. So with uh, that... Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I was going to nod admirably, give a little <laughs> thumbs up towards the sky. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty decent for, for a change. Cool. So, okay, with that, um, unless you have any bonus actions or movements? Uh, can I see uh, the, the state of the person who's under it yet? Like, are they injured at all? <laughs> um, no, you can't really get a good look at that kind of thing. Uh, you just see a struggling okay. arm and leg. Yep. Right, just going to uh, focus on getting it dead, I guess. Cool. So that's my turn. Okay, so on to person trapped in mound. Go ahead and make another strength saving throw with advantage because people are doing a lot of damage. So okay, how do how do I add advantage? Uh, it's automatically there on the roll. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, you just can't get free of this thing. It's. <laughs> uh, stuck. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut it yeah. I mean, you felt like you got some movements. Um, all of you see a head pop out of this thing. You got partially out. Um, Lauren, would you like to describe your character at this point? Um, she's quite a quite a round little halfling uh, with this big shock of red, messy hair, and uh, that doesn't look like it's all from uh, being stuck in a plant. Really, uh, there are a couple of little twigs and leaves stuck in it, uh, and she's kind of, she's very red in the face, kind of breathing very heavily, just going, <sighs> "Get me out of this." There's a kid trapped in there. We need to get her out. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just height impaired. Make a Constitution saving throw, Gilly. Okay. Yeah, you try to say I'm not a kid. I'm just height impaired. But what comes out is I'm not a as you're squeezed by the uh, mound. <laughs> Oh god. oh god. Yeah. So okay, with that it brings us to Diggard. Alright. So Diggard, now that he's able to see the person underneath, is <laughs> felt if he feels more confident and he's gonna try and take a slash, knowing that it would possibly hit since the creature is close enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. And that does Ooh. indeed hit. Yeah, nice. Mm. Cool. So that is six piercing damage to this creature. Um one moment. Yeah. So yeah, this thing is falling apart at this point. Big um, sections of the vines and branches being carved away, falling to the floor. It's going to be much easier for this random person to get free next time. Okay, anything else in this turn? Uh, nope, that's it. Oh, can't you cool. use your second short okay. attack? Hmm? Second um, the problem is that... Okay. The problem is that Diggard can't draw a second sword. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, that's right. I can't, yeah, I can't do double swords until I think level <laughs> six or eight. Yeah. <laughs> Rules. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, okay, with that, we're on to the mound. Um, having taken that critical hit from Brand, it now fixates on the, like, flaming fire Genasi in front of it and makes two oh. attacks against you. Um, Oh, no. uh, both of them were in natural twos. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not rolling great this time. <laughs> this is the oh, most threatening mouth. The Dungeon Master's curse passes 